Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm Player One, and welcome to the end of Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2. Last time on Dragon Ball Z, we checked out Pilaf, our last unlockable character. Very goober, very goofy. I don't want to use him again. And we dealt with two towers. But here we are for the final three. There was only three more towers, and then that's that's all the content in the game done. But before we do that, I am going to go ahead and do a uh, one more, one more just random match, uh, just because I can. Let's go. Let's go to the planet. I do. I'll, I do like this one. Doesn't get used in the story, so we didn't see it that often. But I do. I do like it. I don't know what planet it's supposed to be, but uh, it's it's pretty cool. So this is where you've chosen for your final resting place. <laughs> All right, are you ready for this? And a uh, little little thing right here. I have change the AI to be strong so maybe this time I'll uh, get uh, a little bit more of a challenge so far it doesn't seem like it no even change it from trunks to go tanks but so far still still not that much of a challenge oh he tried it he very much tried it He's not even going to transform. Well, I guess this just goes to show, no matter what. I am still your father, and you cannot beat me. No use. It is, in fact, no use. And there we are. Okay. Enough waffling. Let's just go. We have Crazy 2, which is weird tag teams. And it's uh, it's 1v2, so I only get to be one character instead of two. Alright. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The underrated boy. Who never gets his time to shine, except in non-canon material. I've been training hard. Ooh! Okay, come on. Ooh, that's a good alternate color. That's a good costume. I'm wearing I'm wearing my mentor's outfit. Oh yeah! Yamcha, you do not stand any bit of a chance. Please just let me through. Yeah, I really, I really wish Oob was used more in the series. Like, he gets, he gets some moments in GT, but of course, they don't acknowledge GT anymore. Well, they acknowledge it, but it's not, it's not canon. You know, it's not part of the main story anymore. Damn it. I thought my attacks would land. Fucking, fucking Cyberman. Come here. And well, in Z, yeah, there was end of Z, which was, you know, all right. And then I'm pretty sure he gets mentioned in the manga? In the super manga? But of course, I don't know anything about that. I have not read the manga. Basically, what I'm saying is, Oob deserves more. He is a good boy. And... as I think that's my best rank yet, dang. 
All right, there's that. Next one, Goku and Frieza. Unlikely, huh? Weird, weird team ups, huh? You, you would be surprised. You would be surprised that BT2 uh, foreshadowed Goku teaming up with Frieza. My mentor, I will beat his ass. Uh, yeah, that's basically, that's just, that's what I'm doing. He's not done most of anything. He's just landed one, one beam. Oh, and there's your stamina gone. Get off the ground. Yeah, Oob's pretty good. Oob is pretty good. Frieza, you don't fucking get your hands off me. Damn, Goku did nothing and now Frieza's doing everything. Okay, fine. You wanna you wanna do this? Why do those track? How am I supposed to dodge that? Blazing Barrage Paul. Okay. Alright, it's back. It's back in my favor. There we go. Since we're wearing Goku's colors, we have a regular gi. What is Majub going to look like? What are what are those co colors going to be? You know what? Let me just see. Let me just see. Prepare yourself. Great piccolo colors. Hmm. I mean, I guess they're good. I think I do just prefer him wearing the Goku colors, though. That was pretty cool. Alright. That one is done. Next one. We have... Gohan and Cell. Okay. This is, this is an unlikely team-up. Show me ready. Doing good though. Ah, uh, damn. We both. You dickhead. Somehow, somehow that hitbox was still out, and then I fall into it. And then he has the fucking audacity to teabag me! You cheeky bastard. Come here. No teabag me, you damn computer. Come here! Okay. Okay. There is... There is Gohan done. Now for Cell. And of course he has blue health. Let me kick it up a notch. No. How about you turn a chocolate for me? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes, yes, delicious. And how about I give you an elbow? 
You know, I know it's like an over, uh, it's, it's like a bug, because Cell doesn't change voices in Japanese. But for some reason, hearing forced, first form Cell's hurt noises on Perfect Cell, I don't know, it still kind of works. It just feels, uh, like, nostalgic to me. I don't know. Okay, now... Number two, Supreme Kai and Deborah. Yeah, they wouldn't, uh, they would not work together. All right, Shin. I've been ready. Fight. Oh yeah, speaking of Shin. So Sparking Zero, right. They have Shin in the tournament mode, like he his model is there on the tournament mode menu, but he himself not playable. You know, I don't really care because I was not going to play a Shin anyway. But it's a little strange how they have the model for him. He shows up, but he's not playable. But of course, that that will change when we get the Diamond DLC because. Shin's one of the main characters there, so of course he's gonna be playable then. Get the hell out of here. Alright, Dabra. It is. To die. I think I do prefer this ultimate battle mode than the tower, the whole uh, 100, 100 battle tower in Tenkaichi 1. Just because, you know, they got some themes here, they got some stipulations and stuff, and you don't have to have a hundred straight fights. Like there's a couple, there's a good number of fights here, but not a hundred. And it doesn't really get that boring, because you can also use different characters, and you're not stuck with one character to progress. So, good addition to the game. Good on you, developers. Why are you running, Dabura? Come here so you can die. Goku. Goku. All right, final one. Who is our final unlikely team up? We have Vegeta and Kui. Oh, yeah? Okay. We got Majin, sorry, Majin Vegeta and Kui. Watch Kui just have like three bars of health. That will be very funny. Oh, Vegeta plays. Okay. Gotta be on the offensive, because he seems to be. All right. Blazing Barrage Palm. Alright. Vegeta. A, a match for me, you are most definitely not. Nope. And goodbye. Now then, our final opponent for this tower, um, Queen. 
All right, more health bars than I than I thought he would have. Turn a chocolate for me. Yeah, it's uh, it's most definitely Kui. I have I have nothing to say on Kui. I'm going to kill you with the uh, weirdest ultimate in the game. All right. Now nah, let me. Let me get him down just a li little bit more, because I don't know if I'm even going to land this ultimate. Alright. You seem to be the perfect amount of distance for Lightning Arrow! Aw, oh, damn. Well, he was. Still didn't kill him, though. Let me try it again. Lightning arrow! You're a bastard. You're a big bitch. I hate you. Let me finish the fight coolly, damn it. This stupid barrage. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for being an idiot. Goodbye, Queen. Yeah, you you were not landing that. Ha ha. Ha ha. And there we are. Lightning arrow, by the way, way better than Sparking Zero, because it seems to be a cinematic and not whatever the hell that is. All right. And now we have the last regular tower. We have Ultimate Dragon. Ultimate Dragon being, uh, it says top fighters, so I'm gonna assume this is a bunch of. a bunch of good, very good characters. So. I believe it only right that I match their energy with a very good character. A classic. A classic. By the way, I just noticed something. So this is these are both Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, right? But if I chose the Vegeta Gogeta, he doesn't have the items, but the Goku one does. Little strange, but I get it. All right, time for my lesser counterpart. Super Gogeta. Time is wasting. I'm Hurry Super Saiyan there. 5 again. Ready. Fight. Yeah, it's literally your Super Saiyan. I'm Super Saiyan 4. Shit, I was I was in no way ready for that. Oh, I hate when the computer does that. But yeah, he's Super Saiyan, I'm Super Saiyan 4. Uh it's just a matter of mathematics. You cannot win. And goodbye. Damn. 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 Okay. Another ass. One of the longer towers since there's seven. So now we have Maj Majub. I, I guess he's one of the strong. I guess. He's still getting his ass beat though, damn.
You know, they definitely could have done something with the with the new characters, the unlockables. They could have made a new tower that you get once you get all of them. It could have been like the weirdos tower, since all the unlockables are weirdos, like a pool and peel off. But I guess just having the characters is fine. Damn, another as. These guys are big weenies. Great a baby. Boo. It doesn't matter. I'm Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. You have no super armor. Come here. They better have this system in Sparking Zero. They better have it to where if I'm Super Saiyan 4 or something, I do not get affected by super armor. Because if if, if it's not in there and giants have super armor no matter what, I'm going to be mad because I don't like fighting giants. Because I've said this before, and I will stand by it, uh, Super Armor is stupid, and I hate it. It should not be a thing in anything. Oh my. See, that's the downfall of your big-ass size. I could nick you. I could nick you with my little fists, but you are so large and massive, I still hit you. Uh-uh. All right, next up, we have... No one can beat him when he's Super 17! But, uh, I actually can. I actually very much can. Especially when he's not in the game. Uh, uh. It's got the stupid thing. That's... Oh, <laughs> he paralyzed himself. That's one of the most annoying Z items. Like, you're in my combo. You don't get to guard once you're in the middle of my combo. That's stupid. But, doesn't matter. Because I can just, I can just still beat him up. I'm breaking his guard anyway. All right. Next up, number three. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Mm-hmm. Man, this really is the... Super Saiyan Gogeta and then GT Tower. Who's, who's going to be up there? Super Saiyan 4, Goku and Gogeta? And maybe Omega? Which, you know, it does make sense because... Everyone in GT technically is the strongest now. Well, at this point in history. Because they, they are the end. Damn, I perfected him! That better be in a Z. A straight Z. Give it to me. Give it to me. This is weird. Man, what do you mean, Max Combo? Okay. Next up, that is Goku. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 Time is Come here. I fought one of my halves already. I can fight you as well. No. All right. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Go ahead and, uh, yeah, die for me. Yep. Now then. 
Who is the top of the tower? Gogeta or Omega? Oh, I got a Azaz. -az. Who is it? We have Sin Shenron. Ne neither of the ones I were I was expecting. Huh. Well, you're not me, and you're not even your best self, so you're you're going down. And he's got the thing again. Wait, does he? He might, but he still took that combo. There it is. Ooh. Ooh. Why don't you scratch my shoulder right there? <laughs> That weird, that weird counter again. Big meaty claw, how did that hit me? All right, well, you're not your best self. But I'm still going to end this how it should. I'm going to send you to the next world with this one. Send you to the next world with this one. Times 100! Man, he's just busted, huh? That's why he's Goat Jita. All right. Okay. Nice. Oh! Oh. Right, I did see how challenges work now. They're if you finish a fight with an ultimate. And it's usually the end of the tower. So now I do actually get to my fight with Omega. Why are we in the hyperbolic time chamber? Yeah. Yeah, a couple of the towers have these challengers, and it's usually just finish the last fight with an ultimate, and then you get them. So uh, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool thing. No. My shoulder. Thank you. Even though you're now full power, you still... Still... Oh, oh no match for me. Bullshit, that did not hit me. Alright, well you just you just took that. You had all the time in the world to dodge that. Maybe? Maybe? Possibly I can do it? Maybe? I want to end this coolly. Alright. Need to get away from him. Power up to the very limit. And I'll send you to the next world. And there we are. Goodbye, Omega. Ha 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 ha. And there we are. Ultimate Dragon is defeated. Dun dun dun. And that gets us the last tower. Unlimited. And the desert costume, the last Z item. And I think with that, we're, uh, we're done. Damn. Damn, damn. Because, yeah, Unlimited is literally ultimate battle. Top of DBZ world. It says one battle. It's not. It's, it's unlimited. It's, it's unlimited.
let's uh let's go ahead and do Gogeta versus Gogeta. Let's let's see here. Uh the good music. My only challenge could be myself. You put up a good fight, but uh, I'm still better. Oh, my back. My back! How did... How did you blink, but you have no stamina? You cheater. You did it again! You're a cheater! Oh shit, oh shit. End it, end it, end it. I ran out of max power. Okay. Oui, 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 oui. There we are. Very, very cool fight. And we win, but of course, a challenge from the champ. Oh lord, he's actually the last opponent. Oh no. Time is Ready. Fight. Why is he so fast? Throwing fucking rocks at me! Make a joint blossom tag! Yeah, I think I think this is just always It's just always a thing. You you don't have to finish with an ultimate on Gogeta to fight the champ. He's actually got pretty good defense too. Usually my combos do more. But that can only be one champ, and you, it is not. You, it is not. Okay. And then I think, oh. Oh. Force completed. I... I thought Unlimited was actually Unlimited. No, it was just the Gogeta fight, and then maybe Hercule. Well, there we go. Now we're actually done with the with Ultimate Battle. And with that, we beat the game! We did it! Yeah! Yeah, with a, with a title called Unlimited, I thought it would actually be okay, Gohan, unlimited. Huh. Right. I'll give it my all in this well, there we go. Challenge. There we go. Now, you're probably wondering, oh, desert costume. That was our last Z item. Z item. What is that? Well, we go to the one area where we didn't really go to the data center where you can make your own, like, Red Patara people and all that good stuff, your password people. You go in here and the same way that um, you can change Vegeta to Bulla in training, you can now change Bulma. If I figure out the button. What, uh, what's the button? There it is. There. You get her Dragon Ball 
desert outfit. Is that a good reward for a menu you most of the time won't even go in? I would say no. Is she gonna? She gonna? This is a catalog of warriors you've created. There's a bunch of great fighters here. You, this is a catalog. Of and it's not. Not even There's different. A bunch of great fighters here. Not even any different voice lines. No, it's just. It's still just Bulma. But there you go. There's. There's your reward. Eh. 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 But of course, we go to Z item list. One hundred percent. And it's right there. Bulma has changed in the data center. Cool. Okay. All right. Now then, how do I view the credits again? Because I did skip the credits. How do I... How do I see them again? Hmm. I may... You can set options during the game. What should I do? I may have to fight Omega again. Well, shit. No. Goodbye. Okay. Now then. Please play the credits. Here we are. Nice, nice music. And I can finally close the book on BT2. Now, I think we can all agree that, um, yeah, this is literally BT1, but Everything is better. Better story, better animations, better graphics, better modes, more characters, fixing the characters that are already there. It's literally just, it's gold. The story mode is pretty good. It is long as shit though. And I had to fight Harutagarn like six times. And that was too many. But eh. People say this has the best story mode. I'll say it has one of the longest story modes. There's still some weird things there, like since since GT Goku isn't in the game, they couldn't have the actual ending. And also, Hell's not in the game, so Fusion Reborn was kind of weird. We were fighting out commies for some reason. But yeah, I would say overall, this game, pretty damn good. It's just, it's... It's moi. It's moi. And I am very happy to be done with it. Thank you to everybody who has watched the series. I know this has attracted quite a bit of people for some reason. Don't know why. If you would like to, please check some of our other series. Or if you just want the Dragon Ball, do not worry. In, in At regular scheduled time, like about three days after this, I will begin BT3. I definitely don't think it will last as long as this, but it's BT3. I gotta play it. You know, if BT2 is a step up from BT1, BT3, I would think, is a step up from this. So I'm very excited for that as well. And yeah, we... After this will be three. I'm just gonna tell my plans. After this will be three, and then after three, I'll do tag team. The the weird one. Nice little nice little pictures there. Yeah, I'll do tag team. And then I'll keep I'll keep my, my plans for after that. A secret. So you'll have to wait and see what those are. There we go, BT2.
damn, damn good game. All right. I've been player one. And we'll see you next time when I start BT3. Bye-bye.